In this video, we're going to take a look at quadratic functions, developing models uh, on an HP Prime uh, calculator. Okay, so we got some data points, and uh, it says find the following data points uh, for the following data points. Let me try, try it again. I'll learn English someday. Okay, for the following data points, find the quadratic model. Okay, well, let's come back here, and we want to enter in those data points. Um, we do that under statistics to bar, so you should see that under your apps menu. If you don't see it here, press your apps, and then we'll down arrow, right arrow, highlight st statistics to bar, press enter on it. Now we will put our x values in C1 and our y values in C2. So I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 1 through 7, so 1 enter, 2 enter, 3 enter, 4 enter, 5 enter, 6 enter, and 7 enter. I'm going to write error over. Now you don't have to delete these, but if you want to delete them, you just press your backspace and that gets rid of them like that. Uh, but let me put in my Y values. The reason I say you don't have to delete them is because when you type in your new ones, it overwrites what's there. So I do 5 enter, 17 enter, 31 enter, 32 enter, 23, 5, and 1. And now let me double check myself. Um, 6, 5, 523, 432, 331, 217, 1, 5. Okay. Now, if I go to symbol right here, uh, it tells me C1 and C2, and S1's checked. That's our symbolic view, and um, S1 is where it's putting it at. Now, um, those are fine as is. I can do a down arrow to the type here, and then if I click the menu here, you see there's a lot of different options. I can choose quadratic. When I, when I do that, it, um, it gives me this. Um, even if I were to press enter and come down here, it doesn't change it. A uh, very easy way to refresh that is just press your plot, and then immediately go back to your, your, um, your symbol. And then you see the quadratic. And you see it's not a very nice one. Um, let me write that down. Usually you represent as y hat, um, but uh, that's here if you're in statistics. You can ignore the hat. <laughs> it's actually called hat. Where does that seem? I think it's these two decimal places. So I'd be, um, see the 5 here round up, so that's negative 3.1. X squared plus. 23.19x. Um, now you um you see the x here, but you can't see any more to the the side. If I'm if I'm down here, and um, if I eh, show there it is, uh, press show, then you can see um, see more of it. And then if you press your right arrow key. You can scroll over. Not that we need to see more of that, but minus 14.57. And that would be our quadratic model. Now I can click OK to go back here. So again, I just click Show to show that. Now, let's see if these will change the fraction. I don't know if they will. Probably won't. Uh, if I click my home and come over to here, I'm going to do an up arrow and do a backspace, clean that out. So got start fresh. Now um, I'm going to choose my vars, and um, then I'm going to choose, um, see we're in statistics to var, which is already highlighted, but I can just press 1 that's in front of it, and choose results uh, 1 if I want to see um, uh, some things from, from, the gra from the graph, but if I go down to symbolic, I could have chose 2 instead of doing down arrow and right arrow. You see we see S1. Well, that's where our results were, was S1. So let's press enter on S1, and if you press enter again, you see all that out there. Now if I press my uh, fraction, then it'll change to a fraction if it is possible, and this one does. Um, what my eyes are bad, what is that, negative 65 over 21 x squared plus 487 over 21x 
minus 102 over 7. And this would be uh, the exact uh, version of that instead of the, the rounded version that I gave there. Usually the rounded version is what you want to work with. Usually you don't like to work with hideous fractions that look like that. Um, now let's compare that just for fun. I'm going to go into the um, uh, T84 plus. To be honest, I don't know if I've ever tried to change it to fraction form on a T84 plus. And if you have no interest in T84 plus, we're, we're basically done with that video. <laughs> I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to create a similar thing. So I'm going to go in my stat, go into edit, and I'll clean those out. And I'll go 1 through 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And um, we've got 5 and 17. So 5 inner, 17 inner, 31 inner, 32 inner, 23 inner, 5 enter and one enter. Do a second mode exit out, I'll go into my stat, go into calc, and I choose um, quadratic regression number five, and press enter. And um, look at the values we got. Negative 3.09, negative 3.1, 23.19x, uh, negative 14.57, uh, this is not a specific technique just to HP Prime. Uh, it's a statistical algorithm to develop a quadratic model uh, that best fits the points. Now, what I really want to see is if this changed to a fraction. So let me go into my VARs. And um, let's see, statistics 5, then equation. And then let me try to choose A. So do 2 for A, and I do math. Enter, enter. Uh, sure enough, um, I think when I created the video for the um, T83, T84, I don't think I actually tried to change it to a fraction, uh, but it does. Anyway, that's finding a quadratic model on a HP Prime calculator.